back again. I'm this time representing the health ministry. Uh, the purpose of this ministry is to encourage members who work in the healthcare field to, pra to use their, their practice in mission projects. And also, as a side of this, to encourage a healthy lifestyle uh, for all of our SMBC community. We have members, um, we have a list of at least 50 members who are in the healthcare field. These range everywhere from physicians, nurses, dentists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, speech therapists, dietitians, uh, at least one, and um, and so on. And it's it's a good group of folks, and we have drawn on each of those disciplines at some point in our ministry. Our target audience is the SMBC community, and also we have taken some of this ministry out into the state when we go down to Winch. Uh, we've done some uh, ministry with, um, what's the name of that clinic in Portland area? Uh, Shawnee. Shawnee, 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 sorry, Shawnee, Shawnee area. And also, uh, in the past, we participated in some international missions with the um, dental trips to Brazil. And that might happen again, apparently. So, uh, anyway, that is our outreach, our audience. Uh, we don't have a really good figure about the numbers that we have reached. We know we ministered to about 50 different people up in Lynch uh, last spring and have been various... In uh, different things we provide our some of our members provide uh, support whenever there is a major uh, like convention here or like the nights we've had the big concerts we've had some of our nurses and and folks on kind of on call status where we know where they're at I guess you can say um, we have about uh, as far as members that participate like I said, we have a list, a hard list of 50 people, but we have others who come and give their time that are not necessarily church members, but attend here, and they'll see a need, and they will help us when we've had projects. <coughs> Our funding, we have a, a funding of about $3,000 a year. We also have funding from other sources that support the ministry of $1,300 last year. This is basically folks who pay to go to help do the mission trip in, in Lynch. Uh, some of the things we use this money for, besides uh, Lynch and other mission projects, is we do make sure that all the first aid kits in this building are up to date and well stocked. We are also in, uh, take care of the IED devices, in case y'all don't know, we have two. One is down there by the doors, right outside the sanctuary, and one is right down here at the bottom of the stairwell outside the gym. And the directions are on there. They're very easy to use. I encourage everybody to read them. <laughs> Hopefully we'll never need them. But anyway, that is one of the things we do. Um, Terry is our, our ministry our liaison. Uh, and the thing that we see this ministry is doing is it allows members to use their career training and experiences to share their talents and abilities with others in a loving and faith-based manner. The ministry is responsible uh, for the first aid equipment, and we also will arrange some health-related programs as needed. Uh, for instance, Glenn, who's doing our PTSD program, is also one of our health team ministers, members. So um, uh, we we kind of draw in different. We have chaplains. I forgot chaplains and counselors on the team also. <coughs> so anyway, uh, it, it's a good group, and we get together as we need to to plan for events and things. Or is the future? Am I going to ask that? Please, thank you. All right. Um, we would like to see more involvement. We would like to do some more things around the church. We've tried different things in the past, such as health care or health uh, clinics. Our members are blessed. They generally have their own physicians. They have their they go to their own things. So that was not a really big, great use of our time, and especially not the time of the folks from Baptist Health that came over. To, and spent their hours here. So we're looking at other things to, to do to help make um, more impact on the health of our church. 